What's up everybody? Welcome to a tutorial here on the AREX YouTube channel. My name is Coastfly and I've been given the honor to uh, guide you guys through this uh, tutorial here today. Um, it's a special one. Uh, it's a new hook. It's the SA210, the Bob Clauser Minnow Streamer Hook, uh, which is a hook that AREX developed with Bob himself, so uh, that's pretty cool. Um, and true to the le legend that Bob is, I will be tying a uh, half and half, which is basically just a Clauser minnow uh, with some hackle feathers in the tail mixed in as well. So let's jump down to the hook here um, and tie out this half and half. So one thing I know Bob likes to do when he ties his uh, famous Clauser minnow is to make a thread bump like this to um, slide the dumbbell eyes up against. Uh, I actually like to make two just to help that these eyes won't slide around on me. So there's two bumps done there. And what that will do is it is um, you can when you slide the eyes on here, you can feel that groove between these two um, bumps. And that way you can really get those eyes in the way you want them. Just make a few wraps to get them on and then cross turn with your thread. Like so. four to six turns each way. Then get your thread under the eyes like this and then just pull your th thread tight. And that will really lock in these wraps. Once again, just to make sure, go under the eyes, pull that tight move your thread up in front here and now these eyes are rock solid tight in there these aren't going anywhere then grab some white bucktail or green of course you can uh, really go crazy with the colors here measure it out I want kind of I want this tail to be two to two and a half times the length of the hook shank, which was right around that point there. Trim it off, get your thread back to the eyes there, and then just make a few loose wraps before tightening this down. Maybe pull a little bit on it, because you want this bucktail to be on the top half of the hook okay not all the way around but only on the top half just have a look it's looking good get your thread back here to the dumbbell eyes as far as it will go get the thread behind the eyes make one wrap and then just pull straight up on your tying thread like this which will help you Get this bucktail directly on top of the hook then just work your way backwards like this just right around the hook tip the point then get your feathers here these I want to be a tiny bit longer than the bucktail not a whole lot, just a little bit to help that taper. Make sure it's on the side of the hook. Trim off what you don't need. Like so, secure that. Same thing for the other side. 
little bit so I can see what I'm doing. The thing you can do here is to just place a few uh, loose wraps and then just kind of pull the feather in under the thread wraps which will help you uh, get the feather in uh, the way you want it without it sliding around and turning on you which this one kind of did anyway so let me just see if I can correct that a little bit here but I'm sure you know what I mean so just clean that up like so. Get some dubbing in here. In this case, it is flash blue dubbing, pearl. And then just cover up this part of the fly here. Nice tight wraps. You could also use um, some tinsel for this job, some flat braid also work great. I like dubbing because it's fast, does the same thing roughly. So when you're happy with that, transfer your thread to the front of the fly here like so. Then I want some flash in there. This is some um, some crystal flash, Mitch crystal flash actually. It's a bit smaller than normal crystal flash. Get that in my tying thread. Place that directly on top of the hook here. Make a few wraps forward towards the hook eye. Then moving backwards again. Get this nice and secure. Flip this bunch back over on itself. Like so. Tie down on that. Clean it up. And then trim these. So they are roughly the same length as that white bucktail, which is just about that point there. And then I want some Tattoos bucktail in the same length as the white bucktail. Where are my scissors? Trim that like so. And kinda I know Bob likes to uh, hold this bucktail like this and then just place a few loose wraps on top of that before tightening it. Maybe even pull backwards a little bit. Give you the right taper of the head here. And my thread is actually slipping a little bit. Get that under control. Nope. So let me just redo that if I can. That was annoying. There we go. Let's do that again. because I just I trimmed the bucktail a little bit too tight there. So once again, place it like this, get a few loose wraps in, pull it 
backwards like this and then tighten it down that's more like it and now I'll just clean that up so if things aren't always going the way you want it <laughs> just uh, start over and uh, try again Distribute that bobtail around the hook here, like so. Then just let me clean this up so it's nice and tight. Get a bit finish in here. thread let's get some varnish on that head to really secure those wraps in front here making this fly nice and durable and there you have the finished half and half Thanks for uh, tuning in and watching this tutorial. If you haven't subscribed to the Arex YouTube channel already, please make sure you do that. Leave it with a thumbs up and a comment uh, where you would fish this fly, for example, or uh, if I did it correct. Thank you for watching and uh, until the next one. Bye.